your local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. And good morning. As we start off the day as expected, we got a lot of rain out there that's been working its way off to the north and to the east. This area of low pressure tracking through with plenty of rain falling now this morning. We'll take you with our Dorset Automotive Doppler radar closer to our immediate area. And once again, you can see showers continue out there. There's a few holes here on the radar where we're getting a few breaks right now. But again, the rain has been falling. So if it's not raining in right where you are at this moment. It has been and there's going to be a lot of wet roads out there this morning, so be careful. You can see this big energy and the impact it's having from the Great Lakes all the way down to the Gulf Coast. Moisture continues to stream ahead of the low pressure. And again, we're going to wind this low through the area and on the backside still have the opportunity to produce some precipitation. Even as we go through the day today, the bulk of the heavier rains will fall this morning. We'll get a little break through midday, I think, for much of the area. This afternoon, though, some spotty areas of rain not out of the question. We'll go overnight and into Saturday, though. Cloudy skies expected for your Saturday. All the way through the day, I think clouds hold tight. And then Sunday morning, we're going to track another little piece of energy that I do think will bring some light showers to the area on Sunday. Not like today. It won't be widespread in coverage like we're getting right now. But still, some rain is possible. We need this rain. The drought monitor came out yesterday and as you can see we're still finding very dry to moderate drought conditions for a large part of the area and severe drought for some. So again we're all getting that rain today and after yesterday's updated drought monitor it is a welcome thing to see. Temperatures are not bad this morning. When you think December we should be below freezing and we're seeing a lot of 40s out there right now as we start the day today. Still it's a cool rain and you'll need a coat with that wind factored in this morning and a wind today of around 10 to 15 miles per hour just adds to that cool feel. It's already a damp feel again, so not a great day by any stretch of the imagination, but improving for us as we dry things out a little bit through the course of the day. Temperatures will stay above average. Even as we cool into the weekend and early next week, we'll find that the general trend after we cool early in the week is to find warmer air pushing right back in. And by the end of next week, a week from today, I think we'll be back well into the 50s once again. So the overall pattern for December here as we start, with the exception of the little cool down for the start of next week, is to again keep our temperatures above normal. Today, Temperatures this morning are in the 40s. We'll probably get into the 50s before the day is over. Rain, though, will be around for a large part of the morning into the afternoon. Still some scattered showers early this evening, that possibility. But as we go through the night tonight, all rain chances go away. A low of 41 tomorrow morning is well above average for this time of the year. Dry for your Saturday with a high of 49. Sunday, some showers around, especially early in the day. Day. Cooling to the 40s Monday and Tuesday with some clouds definitely with us. Maybe a few spotty areas of rain Monday night. But again, you can see that dip in temperatures is short lived because by next Thursday, we're right back into the mid 50s.